Hi, Ori. Nice Robert? to meet you. My name is Hoyam. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Have a seat. Oh, thank you very much. No, it's okay. It's good. Just want to make sure he's okay. So, how are you this morning? It's good. Uh, that's good to hear. Yes. So, what we're going to do this morning is we're going to spend some time and yes. to find out a little bit about you, and more specifically your background and relative to the position that you're applying for. Yes. At the end of the interview, we're going to allow you to make some uh, uh, some time uh, allocated for you, so you can ask any pertinent questions that you might have of us. Yes. Okay. Okay. So perhaps you can tell us, start us off by telling us a little bit about yourself. Yes. I'm studying Indonesian and Malaysian studies at Hankook University of Research in Korea. Mm -hmm. And I also I studied in Indonesia as an exchange student about eight months. I'm, I studied in more depth than others because I took up Indonesian literature as my major. And I w have experience working at Jakarta Exhibition Center and Asian Center in Korea and Indonesia. So I met many traders and entrepreneurs from many countries. So I could study how Southeast Asian markets work, and mm -hmm. I, I realized that how can I make a, how can I make good result. Mm -hmm. Also, I got an internship from CJENM, which is the Korea Entertainment Company. I analyzed and gathered information about K-pop at K-pop department. So I, uh, so I participate in many presentation course. Also, I'm studying English in Canada about three months. I'm taking job into course, and I will take presentation course. If I finish this course, I know I can debate and explain my opinion and feelings frontally. From this experience, I'm job ready. Okay, so let me ask you a question here. Yes. Uh, you mentioned you wanted to be an international trade logistics person. Yes. Explain to me what you believe that role is to help me understand what you're going to do for us. Yes. Actually, uh, international trade logistics is a um, personal, is uh, just an uh, employee. But if I go to Indonesia or Malaysia, I can be a coordinator or manager. Because I... Okay, stop there. Okay. You mentioned you're going to be a coordinator and manager of what? Okay. What are you, what, what are you going to coordinate? I mean, those are just titles. Okay. you got to tell us what you understand trade logistics to be. Yes. Like we don't, Tell me what it means. Okay. Mm. I can help uh, make a contract between companies or persons and we gather and analyze in detailed information in Indonesia or Malaysia. So it's contracts? Yes. Okay. So Indonesia, Malaysia, two separate com countries? Yes. So you're working for the Ind Indonesian trade mission and you want to purchase um, a service from the Malaysian government, right? That could be, that could be something similar to it, right? Actually, I can uh, help my company to develop in Indonesia or uh, okay. Malaysia. How would you go about doing that? Tell me how you would help. Uh, I can research or analyze information about resource or mineral resource Actually, bioenergy or alternate energy in Indonesia or Malaysia. Okay. okay, fine. How would you go about doing that? Tell me how you would go. Tell me step by step how you go about doing that. In Indonesia or Malaysia? Yeah. First, I try to find a good market or good farm or good, uh, good factories to develop bioenergy or alternate energy. And then I report this report uh, this information to our company, and then I try to find an owner or traders in local, and then uh, I am a um, representative of our company. I can make contract with other company or traders. Okay, so this is working for brokers then. Yeah, you work right. with brokers. Yes. Okay, I think now I understand it better. Okay, great, great. Why did you? Why have you expressed an interest in Daiwu? Sorry. Why have you expressed an interest in our company Daiwu? Why and Daiwu versus Samsung versus uh, <laughs> versus LG versus any of the others? Actually, Daiwu International is the largest Korean trading company uh, in bioenergy resource 
development uh, segment. So if I, so I know their international has a lot of employee about two thousand employees, and their net income more than one hundred eighteen million dollars. So if I work start work in their international, I can get many know how or any information and from my career. Okay, good. Fair enough. Fair enough. What I want to know about is the the role you had as an intern at CJ Entertainment. Yes. Tell me what that was about. CJ yeah. Entertainment. Tell me what you did there. Mm -hmm. CJ ENM is the Korea largest entertainment and music company in Korea. So they provide many uh, broadcast uh, broadcast channels, right. and they make a, uh, they have many singer famous singers, uh, and they export and import very uh, various of uh, programs uh, for example uh, Canadi Canadian Canadian uh, soap opera or American soap opera and they export K-pop uh, for example mm -hmm. size Gangnam style also <laughs> yes. K-pop yes Korean pop song oh Korean pop yes. okay okay but it's known as K-pop yes okay I just learned <laughs> something I just learned something yes okay. So you did some documentation, you wrote some reports yes. and charts. What type of reports would you, would you be writing? Actually, I was a leader of a group, study, uh, Southeast Asian study group in my university. So I gathered and analyzed, analyzed a report from ASEAN Center, which is the center of Southeast Asian, Southeast Asian nations center in Korea. So I recognized, uh, I gathered and analyzed the <coughs> report of the uh, ASEAN Center. The report is about economics and markets in Southeast Asia. And then I also, when I was intern, I also gathered and analyzed the report. Okay. So I think what Laurie was asking mm -hmm. was, yes, we understand you research a document. Yes, yes. you. Uh, we understand the subject matter. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the question is your role in preparing a report, yes. is this for a comparative basis, is it for a statistical purpose, is it for visual, why are these uh, reports important, mm -hmm. and what is the format of the final uh, report? Okay, first I gather, uh, gather, and, and, uh, gather information from a uh, very famous center like uh, ASEAN Center, and then I uh, I gather that information and I try to translate or uh, make a become a presentation file okay. uh, to present in public. In the uh, so finally, uh, our study group hold a special lecture to other another student. Mm -hmm. So I present uh, my presentation in the in front of them. Okay. And the overall presentation is a summary yes. of your research? Summary of research. Okay. okay. Now, you mentioned that you wanted to be in uh, international trade. Yes. Now, with international trade, there are various uh, tariffs as well as brokers yes. and customs and logistics. Mm -hmm. How familiar are you with the legislation that governs trade? So can you repeat in different ways? Are you okay? So in order to be a trade yes. person, mm -hmm. there are laws governing what where you buy things, yes. how you secure service, and are you familiar with the tariffs? Tariffs. Tariffs. The money, the customs, the uh, yeah. it's like going from border to border. Yes. There's always something in between that governance. Yes. And I'm asking, do you understand the governing bodies between trade? Yes. Um, do you understand the question? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Do, do, do you know what tariffs are? Do you know what a tariff is? I, I do. Okay. When two countries yes. are trading, yes. it doesn't matter what they're trading. It could be glasses, could be phones, yes. could be pencils. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yes. They will have a trade arrangement drawn up between. And depending on which the company, is, which the country is, and which the partner is, and what the product is, there may be some sort of tariff. So, for example, uh, if we wanted to import pens from the United States, yes. made in the United States, yes. 
Canadian government is saying, well, hold on, we can make them here. So we're going to charge a 5% duty or tariff yes. on the U American source pens, which means those pens would cost 5% more coming into this country. The idea behind that is to trade mm -hmm. and protect the trade between the two companies yes. or countries. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what a tariff is. Mm -hmm. So a tariff is like a surcharge, or a tariff can also be an arrangement, a monetary arrangement of some sort between the two trading partners. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of barrier. Not a barrier. But let's let's just simplify this. No, it's not a barrier. Let's just say, do you understand the different taxes for the, the, the uh, for the purpose of illustration. Yes. Two things, whether you buy it or you buy a service, yes. there is a monetary money yes. that is required. Now, if I trade between Malaysia and United States, for example, yes. it would be done in U.S. dollars Yes. going to United States. Going from United States to Malaysia yes. would be in Malaysian dollars. Yes. That is a tariff. Oh, That's the yes. way in which you get paid. Mm -hmm. There is also what they refer to laws. Yes. That's what the governance is, a tariff or a brokerage fee or whatever. Yes. I'm asking, you want to get involved with international trade, but you really need to understand how do we get it? Yes. And if so, what are the costs? Tariff? What? Tariff? What? Mm -hmm. Actually, tariff is uh, almost more than 5% of only original price in mineral resource industry in Indonesia and Malaysia. So, um, sure, can, can you repeat? Yeah. Okay, well, okay, so what, what I'm hearing here is that you have a very, very, very high understanding of what these are, but you don't know enough about the specifics. Yes. So to be a logistics or a trade coordinator or whatever it may be yes. you know, between two countries or two organizations or two companies, you have to be much more detailed. You have to know exactly what the cost of production is, what the cost of shipping is, uh, what the possible shipping routes would be, who could you use, what type of logistical companies would it be shipped, would it be shipped by air, sea, rail, yes. truck, you know, you have to know all of that detail. You have to know it. Yes. If you don't know it, then you can't do the job. I know. Real simple. Yes. Real simple. So forget your understanding is up here, but you need to get down here, right into the weeds. Yes. You understand what that means? You have to know the specific detail. Yes. Where it was sourced, what it costs, what the overhead is, what the contribution to profit is, blah 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 blah. Yes. And that's that's where you need some work to understand okay. what all that is. Yes. Okay. So let's get off that and just sort of uh, Perhaps we can close up by saying, yeah. what questions can you answer for us? I really you can ask us, yes. sorry. <laughs> I really work for the International when I, when I will, when will I hear from you? Uh, you'll hear from us within a few weeks. We're starting to do the interview process, as you know. <laughs> yes. And uh, we have to go through all the candidates and yes. you know, look for the ones that are best suited. We then invite the individuals back for a second interview, for a more detailed interview, yes. on specifics on the detail. To test your understanding of that. Yeah. Alrighty? Yes. Great. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Pleasure. Thank you very much. I'll get up. Thank you for your time. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.